Thank you. Good morning, Elena's. Um, how are you today? We are fine, thank you. Mr. Power is very fine. Okay, uh, last week we took part in the science fair, the regional science fair competition, where our school was accompanied by Mr. Tamira, Mr. Philemon, Ms., uh, Mr. Pavo, and 10 of our learners took part in the competition. Eh? Now, uh, the reason why we took part in the competition it was because of the people that are standing next to me here or let me stay behind me so these are the people who assisted us with the science fair because we didn't know what science fair was all about we didn't know what procedures to follow so Mr. David came in he explained to us what science fair was all about and then from there we decided to take part in the competition and in the absence of Mr. David when he was away so he sent the two ladies next uh, next to him, who also came and they assisted us. So their names are Karin and Liam. So please welcome them to all of Palme Primary School. Okay, so I will give over to David. David, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody. It is very amazing to be back here. You guys are an amazing school. You are super organized. Everyone is on time. And you should all make yourselves and your teachers for such an amazing school. All of Palme. So today we have a, 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 just a short ceremony. We want to show you what, what you see back here are the 10 science fair projects that were submitted to the regional science fair representing your school. So when you get a chance, even today, later today, before you go to school, before you go home, I'm sorry, or when you have breaks, find out where these posters are going to be and try to see what the projects are about. Right now we are going to introduce them and I want everyone to pay attention, even the from the youngest ones all the way to the oldest ones and the teachers to pay attention to some of the amazing ideas your friends came up with, okay? Before we start with recognizing the students that participated, I think we can never forget our teachers. Our teachers are waking up every day and they are coming to school to work very hard and they are giving their best to teach you and to make you the great women and men that are going to lead Namibia tomorrow. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to recognize up here the, some of the teachers that were involved in helping you put together these projects for the 10 students. So let's start with Mr. Pavo. We have a certificate for him. Oh my God, for Mr. Pavo. Let's call up here also Mr. Philemon, who was in the classroom with the students when they were doing that. Oh my God. Then we also had some of the school secretaries who were helping the students actually type up. So they, they, even they deserved to go to the regional science fair and present the projects with them because they were busy typing up with them. So let's have Ms. Lotte up here. Ms. Lotte is now here. She's busy working. <laughs> And let's have also Miss Claudia up here. She's not here, okay. The principal will give to her. So these, these are some of the teachers that were actively helping the Olaf Palme students put together their projects. Let's Omake one more time. Yeah. Then, then we also had two teachers who participated in the regional science fair and they were the judges for even all of the projects in the regional science fair and I want Mr. Pavo to announce who they were because he was working closely with, uh, with them there. So the two ladies are Madame Maureen Biekes, 
en mis tumbis Daniel y Catamira. Okay. Great, thank you. Thank you guys. We are now going to present to you the students who were involved in the science fair. We are going to have, if you can, so that we can save time in coming up, if you are one of the 10 students, please stand up here so you can all be recognized first. Come up. If you were if you were the ten students, we're going to call your names when you are when you are up here. Actually, let's do it like this. Sorry, we will start calling your names. So, how we are going to do this? It's interesting because if you are one of the ten students and you were chosen from the selections committee at all of Palme to be in the top three places or the honorable mention, you will be called also last. So every one of the students that is coming up, let's clap for them. They put an amazing project. We are going to call their name and we are going to say the name of their project. So let's have Lucas Ngondo. He created a generator car. Come up and receive your certificate. Next one up. She created a wonder ointment project. She invented an ointment. Her name is Melissa Garoes. <laughs> the next person created a bar of soap that doesn't give you allergies. Her name is Miriam Nguyengua. Stop by and see their projects. Some of these projects are very exciting and maybe it will inspire you to participate in other years. <laughs> the next learner invented a shoe polish and her name, the name is Penua Kake. His name. The next learner invented the amazing soup project. And the name is Mukete Ulalia. Omake, Omake, everybody should very hard. They put together the boards and they created their products. The next learner made local made medicine and it's Angula Otilie. Omake, Omake. Okay, so now we are getting now we are getting to the final four. Okay. In, so we have an honorable mention for having the, the best product. Then we have a third place, a second place, and a first place. All four of these people are going to get some gifts from us at the time they are going home so they don't lose them. So we are going to come just right before leaving and we will give to them. So for the best product, honorable mention, invented a homemade volcano. Johannes Chipena. Wow. I tell you. In third place. Now everybody is wondering who this is. Third place. Invented the amazing floor polish. A floor polish homemade. It's for Grace. Uabanga Kayawa. Okay, the last two projects. We really want you to come meet your friends, come discuss with them, come see what they did. In second place, our learner in second place. Our learner from second place did a potato-powered electricity project, meaning he used potatoes to light up a light bulb without 
Imagine you are using the potatoes from your kitchen to make a light bulb go on. So let's give a homake for Karihomba and Baumba. And the first, the first place, the learner in the first place was trying to solve a problem even for the teachers in your school. You see, science is not only about doing experiments and mixing things. Science is also about how do you fix problems in our society? How do you fix things that you see in your everyday? So, the first place, our learner was trying to help teachers find a more interesting way to teach about the solar system. So let's give an omake for Jonathan Chicongo. Wow. Jonathan came up with a solar system project for teachers to be able to show students how the solar system works and all the distance between the planets. Congratulations. Omake. So I want to thank all the 10 learners. All of them followed the rules. It was very hard decision to judge. All of them presented for the regional fair. All of them had amazing science fair projects. You can see in the back their posters. But most importantly, they worked hard from the beginning to the end. These are the 10 students from all of These are the 10 students from all of Palme who worked really hard to come here today to present and represent in all of Thomas region for your school. So one last time, Oma K. Okay, thank you everyone. Thank you so much, David and your team. By the way, I forgot to tell you one thing. Eh? David is from Venezuela. He was studying in USA and he also won a science fair project in, in USA. US. Clap him for him. <laughs> Karim and Lian, their mother is from Portugal. All right, right? You know Portugal? Where Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Jose Mourinho come from? Yeah, that's where their mom comes from. Their father is from the Holy Land of Israel. Wow! But they are studying in UK, where Chelsea, Manchester, and Arsenal come from. Clap hands for them. If they are sisters, so Now they are in Namibia. They were also in South Africa. They were in the north of Namibia, so they know Namibia better than some of us. They can even speak a bit of Oshiwambo. Thank you very much. We appreciate your, your work. Thank you. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Thank you very much. Ah, can we, can we take a